And this is an incredible shot right now we have of the separation. Uh, that is Crew Dragon and its trunk now separate, flying free. Uh, and we are just moments away from hearing the beginning of the deorbit burn. And right on time, we also have the start of the deorbit burn. As we mentioned, this should last 16 minutes, 26 seconds. So this has fully committed uh, Crew Dragon to coming home. Uh, there is a beautiful shot of the crew inside. That is Commander Mike Hopkins, uh, closest, closest to your screen. And next to him is um, Victor Glover, the pilot. And on the screens, the, those are the thrusters firing. Uh, as we mentioned, we are in the midst of the deorbit burn right now, and they are monitoring. So this is a, an amazing opportunity to get to see the inside of the cabin at this point. We just had that view from the International Space Station of Crew Dragon and the trunk having recently separated. And this is uh, these are the four crew members who are currently inside, and they're committed to coming home. SpaceX, we show the orbit burn is complete with nominal performance. Nose cone closure initiated. And the nose cone is closed. And this view from our WB-57 aircraft with uh, its thermal imaging cameras, we will be looking for uh, the Crew Dragon to come into view. And there you can see it. In the entry of Earth's atmosphere, Crew Dragon continuing its journey home. So there's a material uh, on the bottom of the capsule. PICA 3.0 stands for uh, phenolic impregnated uh, carbon ablator. That is the material that is really shielding the capsule from all of that extreme temperature. And so the, the capsule itself goes in sort of bottom first, and um, uh, that lightweight material Oh, and that is uh, just a fantastic shot. That is the dragon re-entering the Earth's atmosphere as it uh, leaves that trail behind. Um, and then again, that that the illumination is from all that heat um, uh, that is building up uh, due to friction of just the re-entry speeds of dragon when it meets the Earth's atmosphere. And that view coming from the boat. Go navigator. Crew Dragon continuing, as you said, into to enter Earth's atmospheres. And it looks like those might be our drogue shoots. Visual two shoots. SpaceX from Missouri, we show good drogues. SpaceX copies and concurs nominal descent right on two drogues. Uh, continuing to hear good news after good news. Uh, two drogue shoots have deployed. Everything looks nominal, and we're slowing the Dragon vehicle down. We are expecting the four main shoots to deploy uh, within the next minute. And those four drogue shoots. Oh, you can see them being pulled out now. Visual on four mains. And resilient copies, and we see a nominal descent rate. SpaceX copies and concur concurs nominal descent rate. And this view coming from the WB-57, very clear image of those four main parachutes slowing the vehicle down to what will be about 16 miles per hour prior to splashdown just off the coast of Panama City, Florida. Seconds away from splashdown, everything nominal aboard Crew Dragon Resilience returning to Earth. And there are the boats starting to chase after Dragon um, to begin their recovery operations as soon as Dragon lands. But we have visual confirmation of the Crew One Resilience Capsule. From Resilience, that is excellent news. We are splashed down. We, the pyros have fired. We're water. 
SpaceX copies and concurs, we do she makes cut as well. Uh, great news all around tonight with the return of Crew Dragon Resilience. So the, the back end of the recovery vessel, uh, Go Navigator, and here is, uh, I think that's Mike Hopkins, the commander. Uh, he's, he's very excited. Feeling pretty good after six months in space. 